welcome back to my channel it's Rachel Ray here and today I have another thankful Thursday so I'm going to put in everything that kind of comes in uh, things that I've ordered and things that have been given to me that are just kind of random and miscellaneous I think that's where I'm gonna go with this video for the time being but anyway let's get into it first I'm gonna start off I don't know smallest to largest uh, let's let's give it a go so first, I think I know where this comes from. Oy. This, I believe, is one of those newfangled diamond painting accessories that you may have seen over on my friend Crafting with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee's page. Yes, look at them. Pretty placers. Okay, you guys, so if you haven't seen this yet, oh, they smell so good. <laughs> oh my God, I can smell the lavender already. Ooh, stickers and I don't I don't have a Maggie that I have to share with oh they're so pretty keep it simple that's so cute I love these stickers great thank you okay so this is from pretty placers thank you for our support our family has been hard at work innovating and improving our store uh, and with your contribution we will continue to be able to do so thank you pretty placer crayons do not need any preparation just slide out of the box and start drilling my box has got a little squish. That's okay. They've been in the mail for a long time. Uh, we recommend pressing the tip of a crayon firmly into a single drill to set the shape into the wax. Transfer to your drill. Transfer your drill to your diamond painting. Repeat till you can't drill no more. <laughs> We're here to make your day a little bit prettier. So let us know how we did. Oh, look how cool. So these are the first iteration, I think, or no, maybe the second. I don't know. Anyway, look at this. Isn't this cute? It's a crayon, y'all. Mmm, that smells good. That smells really good. And look at the cute uh, box they make and everything. So we've got lavender vanilla, farm stand apple. Mmm, that smells like fall. That's really nice. And this one, cucumber melon. Oh, yeah. Y'all, I was obsessed with cucumber melon back in school. Okay, I'm going to go grab a special drill, small diamond painting, and we'll check it out together. Okay, here we go. So this is a little kit that I got from fan cells back in the day. Uh, we don't need that. <laughs> well, we might need the little boat. Actually, no, wait, I have a boat somewhere. Here we go. I got a boat. All right. So we're going to do this real quick. Get my chair. Ready? Impromptu. Sit down. Let's try this. This is like a little mirror jobby. So it's just a little compact mirror. This would only take a few minutes to do really. So we've got this. Let's start with the big one. You only need one, and they gave you four, four, five, five of them. Wow, nice. Um, and the thing is with these, can you see what I'm doing? The thing is with these that you can, you know, use these drills for another project later on down the road. So does this one look okay? Are we happy with that one? Yeah, that's good. All right, let's use the crayon. So it says just to... Press the tip firmly into a drill to set the shape in the wax, and then you pick it up and then place it down. Oh, it's a little wet. I don't know what happened there. Probably something to do with shipping and whatever. Okay, so I've got like this little purple drill. I'm going to set that guy off to the side. Let's try another color. This is so much fun. Let's try something that has a little bit more oomph, a little more, a few more to place. Okay. Wow, the smell is really, really strong. If I remember correctly, I just watched um, Mrs. Coffee's video not too long ago, and she said that there's a free and clear version. So if you want to try this, but you're sensitive to smell, then you can... Um, you can get the the clear version that has no scent. So this is number five. Ooh, look at that. I like this for special drill stuff. 
because these are so awkward to pick up with the drill pen. Let's see, Like the regular dots here are easy, but these big drills are so difficult for some reason for me to pick up with my pen. I usually have to use like the multi-placer end, you know? I'm going to try the apple one next because it's a different shape. I think this is the old mold that they were using and this is the new mold. Can you see the difference? So I'm going to put these to the side. We're going to use this one for number four. These, these little projects are great for children as well. So, um, and the crayons, there's no residue on the drill. I mean, except for that little bit of wetness, I think that might just be something to do with the shipping. All right, let's try. Now I'm not pressing down very hard. I was just making sure that I could get the shape into the wax and look at that. I'm not using any pressure at all. Oh, I think that one doesn't have a back on it. Let's take that one off. I always have my tweezers handy because you never know. Oh, it does have a back. It's just not as shiny. That's weird. Okay. Try this one. I really like these. I'm going to put a link for this these crayons down below so you can check them out. If you do a lot of these special drill diamond paintings, I think that it would be worth getting one. And again, if you don't like the scent, maybe get the the free and clear one because the scent on this is very, very strong. I won't lie. It's, it's quite strong. But, I mean, it's nice. I'm sure it would dissipate over time. I, I also have three of them right here. If you like to collect these things. Just another little accessory to have fun with. Oh my gosh, now I just want a diamond paint. <laughs> okay. But that is that is kind of a curse for the big the big special drills is trying to pick them up. Nice. Okay, so we did it. We got all the special drills. I'm going to go ahead and finish this actually while I have you here. I'm just going to do like a little time lapse. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. That is the end result. I will give you a little bit of feedback. So while I was doing it, um, obviously it's my first time ever, um, I noticed that you can't press very hard. You have to have an incredibly light touch. You cannot move the drills around with this. So I do think that this would be best just for the bigger special diamonds or maybe even those AB drills. It would work really well for that. Um, the only thing is that there is a bit of residue um, so if you live in a hot climate, this may not work very well. I, the current temperature here is about 65 degrees. I'm not in direct sunlight, but I do feel that this is uh, melty a little bit. So maybe best for colder climates or during colder weather, but it works incredibly well for the big gems and I will be using them for those projects in the future because you know I love me some special drill paintings. So that is now finished. If I can find a link to this, I will give it to you down in the description box if you're interested below. So let's move on and have a look at some other stuff. I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to stay seated. Uh, this is a diamond painting pen. Now, the only reason I know that is because it says it on the customs form, but I'm trying to remember exactly who I purchased from because I have been busy getting pens, you guys. Uh, <laughs> so much so that I don't remember. 
I think I have two or three of them on the way. So let's get into it. If I can, goodness. Okay, here we go. So how do I get this open? Has my name on it. Uh, <laughs> press firmly to seal, but it doesn't tell you how to open. And with these fake nails, y'all. <clears throat> Chic lifestyle. Oh, oh God. Okay. Ah. Thank you for choosing us for your handmade one-of-a-kind diamond painting pen needs. We appreciate your support and would love if you'd invite your friends. Custom Diamond Painting Pens by TJ. Very cool. So I'm going to put a link down to his Facebook group below so you can check him out. Definitely do. I'm super excited. I don't even remember what I ordered. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, my gosh. I feel so silly now. Well. This is actually really, really, really special. I'm so sorry that I forgot, but that's, that's my brain. You guys, are you ready for this? So they came wrapped in several bags and they also come in these beautiful black bags. Ready? I got my lights on. I got everything ready. <gasps> Whoa, that is so cool. Look. Oh, I love it. And you can feel the grain of the wood, you guys. Can you see this? Is it coming out well on camera? Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Look at this pen. So this one, it is a hand carved pen. Can you you can tell. But this one has like a a textured finish. It is so cool. And the grain of the wood, I can't get over that. You can feel it and it's so cool. I feel when I saw this, it reminded me of like dragon fire or like a you know like a a crocodile's eye or so a dragon eye or something like that isn't that cool oh man that's beautiful gorgeous pen okay so that is number one ready for number two <gasps> whoa <laughs> this is number two you guys let me see if I can get my camera to even show you. This is a pine cone pen. Y'all, I've wanted one of these for so, so long. You have no idea. They are so pretty. And it's like, I'm going to have to take you outside and put in a video because like, no matter what I do, this is not going to come up. It's, it's red and brown and you can feel it. Like it's got like rough patches. If you like texture in your diamond painting pen, you're going to love this. You can see there's a few hollows as well. Amazing. So basically if I'm, if I'm understanding this right, he hasn't put like the, um, some pen turners put on an acrylic coating. Let me show you this, the difference. Uh, between this hybrid pen and this hybrid pen. Okay. So this one has a kind of a, a glossy edge to it. This one is rough, but it's so cool. I like both of them. And obviously this is up to your own preference, but holy cow. If you like them, check out their store. That is so cool. So this is Emily and TJ. Thank you so much. They're so beautiful. Amazing.
Okay, let's move on. Oh my goodness, I don't even want to put, why am I putting them back in? I don't need the bags. <laughs> put them, put them away, put them away. All right, let's see, what's, what's next? I got pens rolling around the place now. Next, I'm going to share some friend mail. So this person wants to remain anonymous, but you know who you are. Thank you so much. Again, you really don't have to send me anything. You don't. But I appreciate whenever someone does decide to send something. Let's see what's in here. There's a file folder. Okay. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Aww. okay let's see what's going on here let me move the camera so that you're right here so the ranch just kind of fell out <laughs> cool okay we'll get to that in a minute let's see oh my gosh thank you so much oh my goodness is there a is there a card first let's see yeah there's a card first okay let's Oh, that is so cute. It says you're so fly. <laughs> How sweet. Bear with me. Okay, she says, I just wanted to say thank you for all you do and say on your channel. I appreciate your enthusiasm, your honesty, and sharing your life with us. Thank you so much. I love sharing with you guys. And, you know, it just makes me happy. I don't do it for this. This is just, this is a crazy fun extra. So she sent me some stuff. Let me just um, take out. There's a pattern in here called Cherry Blossom. Oh, it's so pretty. She says it comes from Notoko Patterns. Let's see if I can see. Notoko Patterns. And it's so pretty. I'd show you, but if I can find a picture, I'll put it in. Oh, I love it. And she sent... The floss, oh look, look how beautiful it is. It's a beautiful cherry blossom and a branch. And that's all the colors for it. Thank you so much. Oh, so it's already kitted up and ready to go. And then there's a few other things. <gasps> Cute, look at this needle minder. Siren Bucks coffee and it's uh, Ariel from the Little Mermaid and Flounder. Made in Indiana. Ohana. <laughs> oh, ohana means family. The family stays together. Or is it sticks together? Ohanacraftco.etsy.com. I'm going to have to check her out. Oh, look. That is so cute. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm definitely going to use this. I, I love all needle minders and stuff so that's the information there I'll have a link down below so you can check them out too make it easy for you guys what's this oh there's more of them <laughs> how adorable can I just slide them out be easier <gasps> cute Kim's creative needle minders oh look so it's a cross stitch kit and a little chicken. A little chickens. A chook chooks. <laughs> I gotta go check on them actually. Cute. Okay, so these are from Kim's. Kim's needle minders on Etsy. Awesome. Aw, thank you so much. They are so cute. There's still more. Oh my goodness. There's something in this beautiful purple bag. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Look at that. How beautiful. It's an actual cherry blossom. Can you see that? That is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it, it feels so special. See? How beautiful. Thank you. That's 
gorgeous. I love it. And I love the magnification of it because it's in that little dome. That's beautiful. It's like having my own little ray of light as well. Thank you. Oh my goodness. And then lastly, a color street. Color street petites. Oh, I don't know the difference between color street and color street petite, but this one is called achieve greatness. <laughs> Cute. I love that color. Wow. That's so pretty. Thank you so much. You know who you are. Oh my goodness. And obviously the ranch. Ranch seasoning. This is the dressing. Oh, they're both dressing. This is just more of it. <laughs> I know how these work. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. And I love the card. Oh my gosh. You guys, I got to get ready for my, my Christmas cards. I'm going to have to start now or I'll never get through to the end. Okay. And the last thing I have right now to share with you, is that a pool thing? Whatever. Is a, an order I made. And I'm only going to go over it really quickly because I'm probably going to have talked about this in my floss tube already. But I have been looking at Michael Pollan's stuff for eons. Okay. And I love his cross stitch. Okay. So I think you can see a couple of his designs here. These are his bookmark kits. And I mean, he's got all kinds of stuff. He's got landscapes and flowers and, you know, all kinds of things. So this one is just a little gem chart and it says you are special. And I thought this might be nice to make for someone who might need a little pick me up. And it's got, oh, it's a, it's a chart pack. Oh, does it have all of them? Oh my goodness. Hang on. I don't, I don't know. Actually, I'll have to look. I'll have to look and see. Um, okay. Here's a kit. This one, oh, isn't that pretty? I hope you can see it. It's called river cottage. And I just thought that it looked so cute. You know, there's the little river in the background. Just gorgeous. I don't know what it is about his style. I guess it's just because, you know, the, the houses are all wonky, like, you know, the roofs and stuff and the bricks and it's, it's imperfectly perfect. This is an even weave kit and it has everything. It has the threads. It has the fabric in there. I think you can see it poking out, um, and the chart as well. Um, so yeah, mini spring cottages. These are the other two in the series, Myrtle cottage and Ra railway cottages, but I just like that. This one was kind of on its side. Then I got this bookmark, Misty Hill Town bookmark. And here are some of the other ones in the series. So this is the one that I got. And I just really liked it because it's like this castle and the setting sun and the windy path up to it. I don't know why. Just really liked it. It comes with Ada, uh, the ribbon, the backing fabric. So that's really awesome. And it's already scalloped. So, you know, it's, it's already ready to fin finally finish. And I'm the kind of person who doesn't really finish her cross stitch completely yet. I'm just not there yet, but this would make it so, so simple to do. Here we've got a thank you. Just thank you for your order. Stay well. Thank you very much. I have his handwriting. <laughs> um, here's a print that I purchased. Isn't that beautiful? I thought it would look good in my living room. Kind of reminds me of the town that I live in with the, the townhouses all together. Just kind of cute. And um, reproduced from an original painting. Oh, it's a card. It's a, it's a card. It's not just a print. So I could send that off if I wanted to. Here's a little, oh, wow, look at that. That's one of his cross stitch kits. Oh my goodness. How beautiful. 
a French Paris Parisian street, is it? Fleur, yeah. Ponson. Citron. Beautiful. Uh, so if you are in, visitors are welcome in Cardiff. So if you live near Cardiff, you can make an appointment and go visit his gallery. I would love that. Anybody near Cardiff? <laughs> and then these are the larger pieces that I purchased. I purchased this garden sampler. So this is the chart pack. Uh, it doesn't have a kit as such. It's not like Ada or even Weave or anything like that. It's just the chart. But I really did want it. And I thought that it was beautiful. It's got a lot of really nice colors and flowers and things. A little house. And you can customize the name and the year, you know. Um, I don't know why. I, I'm not really a sampler person yet. But I thought this one would be great to have. Or even to give away at some point in the future. And this one is one that I've been looking at for so long, you guys. This Christmas tree right here. So this is this is um, called Festive Window. And it's like a stained glass window with the tree in front. And I don't know why. I just really, really like it. I like, the, I like all three of these. Uh, this is the dancing series. But um, the dancing trees are so cute too. But I just fell in love with that. So yeah, that's what I bought from Michael Powell. And I think that, um, honestly, I, like, you know how it is with, with diamond paintings and cross-stitch patterns. I just, I, when possible, I like to order directly from the artist, uh, so that they can, you know, get all of the compensation possible. Let me just pull you out a little bit so you can see everything. Um... So it's really important to me to, to, you know, take care of our artists. So do what you can. Do what you can with what you have, you know, and, and give back when you can too. So these, <laughs> this is my big haul of Michael Powell. And there's still more that I want, <laughs> but I will have to wait and, uh, and get them some other time. So guys, if there is anything else that I can put into this video, I will add it right here. Hey guys, there's actually more. I totally forgot. So Jacqueline sent me this letter. Now when I received it, I actually, it had this rip in it. So I just tore it the rest of the way. Then I opened it up and it's got this beautiful, this beautiful um, note. Uh, and it says, you know, hi, my name is Jackie. I'm a big fan. Um, your videos have been a blessing. I love your honesty and openness with your struggles with depression. As someone who struggles with mental health, it's been a breath of fresh air. I'm so happy that my videos can give you at least a little uplifting. I started diamond painting in June by accident, really, and I found it to be very therapeutic to work on my projects and listening to you and the other wonderful women of the DP community. Um, you're one of the kindest and uh, most honest people on YouTube oh, and your voice is soothing. Keep up the amazing work, Jackie. And then it says, enjoy the gift. But unfortunately, this is all I got. I got these stickers. So I'm not sure, Jackie, um, what you sent me, but these beautiful stickers, this little cat sushi and a little, um, band-aid sticker. If there was something else in it, it, it came out of the envelope. So I apologize for that, but I do appreciate the note and the sentiment. Really, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And I also got this in the mail, which I've been waiting for for a while. This is um, this is a t-shirt that, let me see if there's something in here, from float.org. Uh, they make apparel for uh, animal rescue causes, I believe. And this is what I got. It's my Princess Cloudberry shirt. It says, Healthy Seas, Healthy Seals. Isn't it so cute? My little Princess Cloudberry, who we we rescued. We, uh, With your support, we were able to raise money in order to sponsor a kennel at the Seal Rescue Ireland uh, facility in Wexford, Ireland. See? 
and that's their logo on the back. So I now have a t-shirt. I ordered this a long time ago and it's finally here and I'm so happy. I love this fit. The t-shirt the is very soft material um, and if I'm able to, I will link it down below so that you can get one if you like, but isn't she just adorable? Look at her little face. <laughs> Healthy seas, healthy seals. So guys, that is the rest of the haul. If there is anything else, I will put it right here. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care guys. Thank you very much. Bye.